This video will demonstrate how Ctrl-M can be integrated into a DevOps lifecycle. In this video we will use a scenario of a developer that needs to build a process that downloads a file from a business partner, transforms and verifies it, and then uploads the result to another partner. In their project the developer is responsible for writing the Python programs as well as the Ctrl-M job flow. They will develop the jobs using JSON code. The project has already largely been developed, but a new feature X needs to be added. For version control in our demo environment we are using Git. The central repository is being hosted on GitLab. We use Jenkins for our CI-CD build pipeline. In Git, the currently accepted version of the project is named the master branch. In this example, the master branch is currently at commit A. To begin development on the new feature, the developer creates a branch named Feature X and can then modify and test code without affecting the master branch. He creates a commit B and later needs to fix a problem with that code, creating a commit C. When all is tested OK and the new feature works, they create a merge request so that work on the new feature will be reviewed and, if accepted, merged with the master branch. During this workflow, Jenkins automatically picks up the commits the developer pushes to GitLab. When a development branch is pushed, the pipeline will automatically start a build and test of the new code. The build phase checks the validity of the job's JSON code. The test phase runs all tests the developer has defined to test the project in a test environment. In our case, it runs the jobs and checks that the run ended as expected. Finally, when the master branch is merged and thus creates a new commit, a final build test is performed and then the code is deployed to, for example, a production or a user acceptance test environment. Here we see our project in GitLab. This entire project will be available for you on github.com slash controlm. The project includes documentation files that go into more detail about how it was set up. The scripts directory contains the Python programs the developer wrote to handle the transformation and validation of the files. The CTM jobs directory contains the JSON files that define the job flow and the connection profiles needed for the file transfer jobs. We'll have a look at those files later. The developer has also created a test directory with scripts to be used for automated testing. Finally, there's a Jenkins file that tells Jenkins how to build, test and deploy this project. For this demonstration, we've chosen to use shell scripts directly in the Jenkins file using curl commands to call the ControlM automation API to build and deploy the JSON and run the automated tests in a, in a test ControlM environment. The login credentials for the automation API are kept in Jenkins and automatically provided by the script at runtime. The developer does not need to know the credentials for any of the environments used in the build pipeline. Let's have a brief look at the project status in Jenkins. Here you can see the master branch and when we click on that we can see the latest build was successful. We can also see that only the build and deploy stages were run since this is the master branch. The test stage is not performed as it would be running against the production system. Now let's pretend to be the developer and implement FeatureX in the project. We'll make a small change in one of the jobs and commit and push the project. First, we check out a new branch named FeatureX. Then let's make a small change to the code which unintendedly breaks something. Here we see our four jobs defined in the JSON code and the job flow. Let's change the third job and change the input file name so it will not find its input file and therefore fail. So the, the build test in Jenkins should fail. Let's commit and push the change. So we're pushing our new branch to the remote repository. Let's have a look at the, the project in GitLab. If we refresh the page, we should see that a new branch named FeatureX now appeared. Yeah. Now if we look at Jenkins and refresh the page, 
we should see yeah, a new branch named feature X was picked up and it's currently running the build on that branch. So let's have a look at the de details. Ah, so the test just failed, which is what we expected because we um, deliberately made an error in one of the jobs. The developer is uh, notified of this build failure and he goes and fixes the code. So let, let's go ahead and do that. And commit the fix. Push it to the remote repository. So let's have a look. If we go back to Jenkins, the build is running again. It's running the test now. And now we can see the build has worked okay. We can also look in our test control M system to see the result of these two tests that were automatically run. So I've brought up the control M page in this tab. And if I look at the viewpoint that views these jobs that we've been running, we can see our four jobs. This is the first test that failed because obviously that third job failed. And then the second test, all jobs worked, though the Jenkins build succeeded. Now the developer informs the project maintainer in GitLab that his new feature is ready to be merged into the master branch. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. We'll go to merge requests and create a new merge request to merge our feature X branch into the target branch master branch. We submit the merge request and since this is a demo, we'll also do the whole merge without waiting for an approval. So now our change has been merged into the master branch and it's basically it's live. So we can go back and see what happens in Jenkins when we do that. So now we can see Jenkins building the master branch. And when we have a quick look at that, we can see uh, it just finished. It ran a build again to verify the JSON to see if it's still correct. And then it skipped the test because it's going to a production environment, but it deployed the new jobs. So they're now live in our production environment. That concludes this Control M Automation API video. Visit jobsescode.io or github.com slash controlm for more examples like this.